if you are in need of some new lawn equipment, the sooner you buy it, the better. The pandemic causing shortages when it comes to lawn care and everything else seemingly lately. Ron Weingarts joins us live from Farmington Hills Weingarts location with the details. Good morning to you, Ron. Hello, Ron. I'm sorry? No. We'll get to no. Ron in just a little bit. We'll try to work out that audio. But um, oh, there we go. Oh, you got me a little bit. Working it out. Pandemic. Yeah, gotcha. All right, hey Ron, Ryan, yeah, everybody no. here. We are live, and I wanted to <laughs> start off with with shortages because the pandemic, seemingly, if you're trying to do anything these days, is affecting that. How is the part shortages and everything else affecting the lawn care industry? Well, it is having a big impact. So like, like, like you mentioned, all industries are being affected. So normally we would bring product in. We order in October and get it in in January, February. And we're still waiting on a substantial amount of product from our preseason orders. So right now we've got a pretty good selection. And because we carry a wide variety of brands and models, um, you know, we'll be in pretty good shape. But if you are planning on getting a new piece of equipment, you definitely want to come in early. We're, we're, we're going to experience shortages all year. Yeah, Ron, the importance of, of kind of making that decision, you know, right now, if you can, how important is that? Because in the coming weeks, I'd have to imagine that when people start thinking about their lawns again uh, and they grow a little bit with the rain and, and as that comes, uh, we are going to be faced with some shortages of lawn mowers and lawn, lawn equipment. Yeah, no, no question about it. Um, you know, right now, like I say, we've got a good selection, but the problem is everything is getting pushed back. So, um, so right now we're in pretty good shape, but, you know, typically the first grass mowing of the year, you know, people come out and buy, and by then the selections will be a lot, a, a lot smaller. So, um, and we're, we're going to experience that all year. So they're just, like all industries, there are certain components that manufacturers are hard time, hard time, uh, getting right now. Um, so we've got a lot of stuff coming. We've got in the pipeline. And at least we do know, have an idea when it's coming. So if we're out, we may be out for just a short period. Um, so you may be able to get by. But, but right now, we do have a, a very good selection. What, what is more popular, uh, Ron, the, the riding mower or the push mower? Well, it varies a lot. There's more and more people going to the riding mower uh, just because of the time. Um, you know, so if you have a small yard, there's still the walk mower is still, you know, very, very popular. But we're seeing more people that are used to be maybe on the borderline and say, well, I'd rather not spend an hour walk mowing on my Saturday. So they'll get themselves a lawn tractor or a small uh, residential zero turn mower. So we are definitely starting to see more of that. Well, what, what do you suggest to people who, who obviously haven't gotten their mower going in, in almost a, a year or at least nine months? What are some of the things that people need to do in terms of upkeep for their lawn equipment? Well, it's, it's very, very important to make sure you start with a sharp blade. So if you haven't, you know, gotten your blade sharpened in the fall, you want to bring it in and get it to get it sharpened this spring. Uh, very important for the for the health of the grass to have a cut with a sharp blade. You want to make sure you have, you know, your oil. If it needs to be changed, go ahead and get the oil changed. You know, if you had fuel, um, you know, if you didn't add a fuel stabilizer or, you know, ran your fuel out in the fall, you want to make sure it's going to start. Um, so, you know, add some fresh fuel and run it. Make sure everything's running okay. You may need to put a spark plug um, if it doesn't want to run. Or uh, also want to check your air filter element. You know, the, the air filter collects a lot of uh, dust, so that'll just prolong the life of the machine. Ron, great advice, and uh, hopefully a lot of people that, that are watching this and need that equipment go out and get it because, of course, uh, you know, we may see some shortages here in the coming weeks and, and certainly month or two ahead. Uh, Ron Weingartz, uh, we're big fans of yours, and we love the song as well. I've been singing it all morning, Ron. I do every time <laughs> you're on the show. We love great. it. <laughs> For Thank more, go to, go to Weingartz.com. Uh, anybody want to join me real quick? Well, I was waiting for you to sing the song again. Yeah. Wine guards, <laughs> wine guards, everything wine guards. from lawn to snow. All right. Well, there you go. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's all good. Sounds it's all great. Good. Yeah. You didn't need our help. Well, yeah, yeah I think you guys singer, love Ryan. me. You're hanging a little up. bit. No, no. There. You take the lead on that, Ryan. <laughs> you, you got you this. Watch me walk, walk off a cliff here. Uh, <laughs> get that lawn equipment. Uh, and Derek's big on the lawn. Derek and the, and the lines, the too. The best lawn. Oof. Lines. I'm lines. so excited. Mm -hmm. 
I am excited that lightning is coming, guys, because if I had time, I would break down how lightning releases nitrogen, it acts as fertilizer for your... We don't have, we don't have time for it, but to say I care a little too much would be accurate. Oh, man. We'll, we'll be looking forward to that. We'll get you updated on the weather, and we'll talk tag board next.